guys, what's going on? Welcome, Coyotes North. So, you would not believe what happened to me. Right after we finished a video of best and worst mods, I decided to take the car down the road. Beautiful day, sunny, warm, colors were popping. So I wanted to share with my viewers the colors. So we did, we didn't get far though. Check out this video. Before we get rolling into anything, let's get into a cold start, a true cold start. Why? Because it's damn cold outside. So these cars really pop when it's cold. They love that cold, fresh air. We'll get on with it, let you check out the cold start and we'll move on with the video. Try and catch some fall colors real quick. Let's peek out. It looks beautiful. Second gear spin. So hoping my viewers can see some of these beautiful, beautiful colors here. Southwest Michigan. It's a very, very colorful area right here. It's amazing. I had that happen not on this car it was a total failure holy cow what the hell is going on it's still running oh man all right I'm gonna baby at home I don't know what happened been transmission now it's going from second to third everything seems to be working man you talk about being gun shy so my 63 Ford detonated on me. I dropped a valve after getting on the road, getting the engine completely redone. First day of driving, I drop a valve, the thing explodes, I'm going 55 down the highway, and it made this huge, huge explosion sound. And as you can see, uh, I'm super gun shy. This makes me extremely worried and, and concerned because I don't know what, I don't know what that noise was. But, uh, like I said, we're close to home. We'll throw it on the, uh, on the end gauge and see what we got. The last thing I want to do is 
have a failure. We want to make it fast and reliable, but that whole deal, I don't know what it was, man. It was god awful. Okay, this may not be the best coverage how we're going to do this, right? We got the end gauge, we're going to plug it in. All right, we're going to turn the key on. Clutch input switch circuit. Clutch, pedal clutch switch A circuit. Random multiple misfire. I wonder if it's the clutch. Good Lord. Uh, I want to take a look under the car. On a really sad note, I don't, uh, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what happened. You heard it. It was an awful, god awful sound. Um, this is crazy. It's whatever it was. It should not have happened. This car isn't like that radical. It doesn't have that many miles on it. Thirteen thousand six hundred forty-one. So well, let's see what this is. All right, guys. I checked the oil. Looks to be clear. I don't see any debris in it. I'm leaning towards a transmission issue because we are shifting from second to third. Uh, pretty frightening. I'm still in shock. <laughs> like, what the fuck, man? I don't need this. Um, hopefully nothing's hurt. Uh, talk about being shy to get, get into it. I mean, I've laid into this thing. Shifted at 7,500 RPM all day long without issues. I don't see any leaks. I heard it's still running. So we're going to leave it at that. I'm going to put this thing in the garage and see if I can't forget about it for a while. All right? Okay. So, guys, what would you think of that? Gear crashing, exploding, making some awful noises. Um, I did... I was able, as you can see, able to drive it home, and I'm sure I'm gonna be able to drive it to get repaired. So here's what we got going on. This is totally unplanned. So as you know, the MT82, I think it's a G-Trag, G-Tag, I'm not even sure. It was a Chinese-built, contracted by Ford, Chinese-built transmission for cost savings, and uh, sometimes cost savings aren't always good, right? So there was a lot, a lot of issues going on with this transmission. Early on, there was a class action lawsuit against Ford, and uh, I, nothing panned out of it. I think Ford claimed it as abuse, and um, yeah, that was kind of the end of it. So here I'm riding along in my video, right? 7,500 RPM, and if you heard it, I wasn't... I wasn't hitting the gears hard. I was kind of rolling it out, kind of smooth, rolling into it, and kabam, right? So these transmissions are basically junk. And here's some things I didn't know about. Uh, I thought they held 600 horsepower. They don't. They're good for 500. So guys, it's not if it's going to happen to you. You got an MT82. It's when it's going to happen. And, and we're not pushing that much over uh, 500 horsepower. On the 93 tune, I think we're around 514. Uh, with E85, we're pushing about 529. And this is straight from dyno numbers, straight doing the conversion, 85% um, based on your total number. Divide by 0 0.85. That'll give you your total. And that's how you calculate your uh, flywheel horsepower. So, again, here we are. This was not planned. This is going to push the cam... Uh, installation back probably until next year however this is this is you know things all things happen for a reason so what are we gonna do we are going to put in a calamer transmission stage three fully built right uh, heliocut gears billet steel the whole schmeal <laughs> It's gonna be badass. Check out Calamar Transmissions. Go to Calamar's Facebook page. You'll see some badass Mustangs on there. Uh, one of the one things we are going to do is keep the same gear ratio, and I found out why. This car was geared for road racing, so it has four gears of torque multiplication. First, second, third, fourth, fifth gear is one to one. So this is why this car continues to pull so well in fourth gear. Um, the Tremec has a lower first gear, 
second gear, third gear. Those three gears are torque multiplication. Then it rolls into a fourth gear, which is one to one. So I heard a lot of people don't like those gears. So it just depends on what you're doing with the car, if you're tracking it. Uh, even if you're uh, drag racing, in my opinion, these gears are gonna be better. That's just my opinion. So the other good news is while we're getting this transmission changed out, we have a seven to 10 day window of a turnaround time plus shipping. We are going back to our 373 gears, okay? So I'm super excited about that. Why? We get to train in, we get the car back, we can do some hits on it again, check it out, see how it improves traction with road tires, and then we're gonna pop on the uh, Mickey Thompson ETs and see how it handles that, right? Yes, it's gonna be cold out. We probably won't be getting great traction, but there might be some warm days. So let's hope for that. That would be awesome. So it's kind of like pumping new blood in this whole build, and uh, I'm super excited about it. Uh, looking forward to it. So it's gonna be an awesome deal. So this is gonna happen, if I didn't mention, November 4th. Car's going in, probably gonna be two weeks after that, so I don't know when the opportunity is gonna take it out and drive it, to be honest with you. Um, guys, I got some new subscribers, thanks. Check out some of my previous videos. Learn about the build, you know, it's pretty much straightforward, lots of bolt-ons. Check out my vid, get an idea how are things going. So I do have some draggy videos, uh, which are real world, me not getting traction. The reason why I'm excited about these gears is fourth gear ran out, uh, with the 410 around 117 miles an hour. That's at 7,800 RPM. That's what I'm pushing this car in fourth gear. I should see 122, 123, maybe 124, or maybe more in that uh, fourth gear now with those 373 gears. I'm happy about picking up some mile an hour. So hopefully it's gonna get this car to help hook. Then we can do a better evaluation on these uh, BMR drag springs which we didn't talk about in my previous video because I couldn't really give it a fair assessment. And then um, we'll go from there and uh, let's, you know, let's hope things work out. So again, guys, thanks for subscribing. Thanks to my new subscribers. Check out my Instagram account. Uh, just some fun stuff going on there. So hit that like and subscribe button. You guys have a great day. Thanks and take care.